Hey guys, I'm here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 5 Module 1 Lesson 16 homework. So let's get started. Solve using tape diagrams. Alright, so number one, a gardener installed 42.6 meters of fencing in a week. So we know the total of what we're looking at right now is 42.6. All right, um, he installed 13.45 meters on Monday. And that's Monday. And then 9.5 meters on Tuesday. And the rest of the fencing in equal lengths on Wednesday through Friday. So that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. How many meters of fencing did he install on each of the last three days? All right, so first thing you find out how many fencing he installed on Monday and Tuesday. So 13.45 plus 9.5. 5 plus 0 is 5. 4 plus 5 is 9. 3 plus 9 is 12. And two, 1 plus 1 is 2. So the answer is 22.95. So then we know the total for these two is 22.95. So now we have to find out how many is left for the gardener to install on Wednesday through Friday. So we have 42.6 minus 22.95. 0 minus 5 bar 10. 10 minus 5 is 5. 5 minus 9 becomes 15 minus 9, which is 6. 1 minus 2, brought 10. 11 minus 2 is 9, and 3 minus 2 is 1. So your answer is 19.65. So that means um, Wednesday through Friday, he installed 19.65 meters. But we have to find out how many he installed on each day. So 19.65 divided by um, 3. Because it's Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So 3 goes... 0, 6 times into 19, minus 18, that's 1. Carry the 6 down. 3 goes 5 times into 16, that leaves 1. Carry the 5 down, and then 5 times into 15. So 6.55. That means the gardener installed 6.55 meters Wednesday to Friday. All right, number two. Jenny charges $9.15 an hour to babysit toddlers and $7.45 an hour to babysit school-aged children. If Jenny babysat toddlers for nine hours and school-aged children for six hours, how much money does she earn in all? So toddlers for nine hours, that's... Um, let's see. She sat toddlers for nine hours. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we know each hour is nine dollars fifteen cents, and we, so we want to find out the total. Well, nine point one five times nine. Oh, let's go. Is in like nine times nine point one five. All right, so zero times five will be zero. Um, wait, hold on. Zero times five is zero. Zero times one is zero. Zero times nine is zero. Zero, zero, zero. All right, nine times five is forty-five. Um, 9 times, wait, 9 times 45, 9 times 1 is 9, plus 4 is 13, and 9 times 9 is 81, plus 1 is 82. So add that together, 0, 0, 5, 3, 2, 8, have 1, 2, 2, 82.35. So then she makes $82.35 babysitting toddlers, but now let's see school-aged children. So she babysat them for six hours, and each hour she makes seven dollars forty-five cents. So how much money does she make in total? Well, we can do 
Um, okay, six hours times 7.45. Zero, zero, zero. Okay, there's like no room. It's okay. Okay, so six and five is 30. Six times four is 24 plus three is 27. And then six times seven is 42 plus two is 44. So our answer is zero, 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 seven, four, four. Move our decimal point. 44.7, so 44.7. So how much does she earn in total? Well, 82.35 plus 44.7. Five plus zero is five, three plus seven is 10, four plus three is seven, and then eight plus four is 12. Then we the decimal point, our answer is 127.05. So that's how much she makes. All right, but then B says, Journey wants to earn $1,300 by the end of the summer. How much more will she need to earn to meet her goal? All right, so her goal is 1300 And she's already earned, um, oh, that one got in the line, caught in the line. She's already learned, earned $127. So we want to find out the shaded part. So how much more does she have to earn? Well, 1,300 minus 127.05. Okay, zero minus five bar, oh, bar 10, how about we? 10 minus five is five, nine minus zero is nine. 9 minus 7 is 2, 9 minus 2 is 7, and then 2 minus 1 is 1, and 1 just keep that 1. So 1,127. Well, 1,172. So then she needs to earn 1,172.95 dollars to earn her, to meet her goal. All right. Number three, a table and eight chairs weigh 235.68 pounds together. The table weighs 157.84 pounds. What is the weight of each chair in pounds? All right, so we have our thing, our tape diagram. So we know all together they weigh 235.68 pounds. So the table, a big chunk of that, the table weighs 157.84. So we have to find and, um, how many, how much the chairs weigh and how much each chair weighs. Each chair weighs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I want to figure out how much this is. So first, let's find out how much eight chairs weigh 235.68 minus 157.84. 8 minus 4 is 4, 6 minus 8 borrowed 10, 16 minus 8 is 8, 4 minus 7 borrowed 10, 14 minus 7 is 7, and 2 minus not 5 borrowed 10, 12 minus 5 is 7, and 1 minus 1 is 0. So 77.84. Um, That's how much the chairs weigh. But then now we have to find out how much each chairs weigh. Each your ways. So it's 77.84 divided by 8. 8 goes 9 times into 77. I give us 5. Bring the 8 down. 8 goes 7 times into 58. 56. That's 3. And then now 4. 8 goes 3 times into 24. So then 9.73. Each chair weighs 9.73 pounds. All right, and number four, Mrs. Cleaver Clever 
mixes 1.24 liters of red paint with three times as much blue paint to make her purple paint. She pours the paint equally into five containers. How much blue paint is in each container? Give your answer in liters. All right, so 1.24, R for red, and there's 1.24 liters of red paint. But she uses three times as much blue paint to make her red paint. I mean, her purple paint, oh my God. So B for blue. So 1.24, but three times. So we have to find out how much blue paint she uses in all. So 1.24 times three, four times three is 12. Two times three is six plus one is seven, and one times three is three. So your answer is 3.72 blue paint, liters of blue paint and all. But she mixes into five containers, so how much is in each container? 3.72 divided by five. Five goes zero times into thirty into three. Nice. Two, wait, it's three. Take down the seven. Five goes seven times into thirty-seven. Another two goes four times in. Another zero at the end. And five goes four times into twenty. So our answer is zero point seven four four. There are blue paint. There are zero point seven four four liters of blue paint in each container. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps, and please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps out my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.